Hello from Bryson City. Um, hope everybody's doing well today. So I hope you have paper and some pencils. So let's see here. I got people popping up for friend requests. Um, this video is public, so anyone can watch. Uh, when I am finished, uh, Facebook, of course, will save this. And it'll be um, available uh, for anybody to watch. I have a helper here today, too. All right, there's Betsy. She's going to be sitting along with me while I do some drawing here. So, a um, um, couple rules, a couple things before we get um, My camera keep acting up. <laughs> There we go. If you are under 10, um, make sure when you are finished, you put your things together away in a spot where you can find it later. So mom and dad, grandma, whoever you're hanging out with, um, you know. So, yeah, you don't want to leave it. Don't want to leave it sitting out. Um, some other rules. If you are under 10. Make sure you thank um, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whoever, for uh, letting you uh, get online and participate with, uh, with today's class. And, um, uh, you know, make sure you give them a hug. That's important, too. Um, if you are over 10, <clears throat> make sure you put your paper and stuff away where it's not out in everybody else's way. Um, that's more for me. I have a bad habit of leaving my stuff out. But uh, make sure you put your stuff away. So, um, and then also, uh, if you are over 10, um, make sure you sharpen your pencils. If you're under 10, have someone sharpen your pencils for you. Very important. You should know how to use pencil sharpener, but I'm just being safe. Anyway, so today uh, we're going to be doing sketching. Sketching is literally defined in the dictionary as making a rough drawing. Uh, sketching is a great skill to have. It allows you to visually communicate with people. You can make a rough sketch of something. Say, this is what I was thinking. Great idea. You know, it's a great way to get ideas out quickly. Um, there's apps that you can sketch with, but nothing beats pencil and paper i'm sorry if you have a pen that's good too the only problem with that is is pen is you know it's there permanently just saying so um let me get started here so i've got my paper i've got some pencils laid out here let me do some uh, let me rotate my camera here <coughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm doing this all. You'll have to excuse me. I'm using my cell phone. I don't have anything too terribly fancy. So, you'll have to excuse me while I'm adjusting and shaking and all that stuff. All right. So, there's my hand. Very good. So, I have a couple things laid out here. Some things that I've collected. So, here's a little plant. We'll sketch that today. Here's a little, um, little gazebo. Little Chinese pagoda. We'll sketch that today. And I have some leaves. So while while we're all at home, don't be afraid going out to your yard. Don't be afraid going outside and picking up some stuff. These are free. They were out in the yard. I had to pay for these two, but these are free. You can go outside and sketch. You can sketch what you see in your yard. So all free. So paper, pencil. And the first thing, we want to warm up a little bit, so um, just grab your pencil. I like to start off with just a couple squiggly lines, some figure eights, some circles. And that's what we want to do to warm up. So some more circles, some more figure eights, some more squiggly lines. All right. First thing I'm going to do. We're going to look at the leaf. Let's take a good look at it. I think this is an oak leaf. It looks like some critters have already been munching on it, chewing it up. 
So when sketching, you want to make a rough drawing. So literally, And if you mess up, it's okay. So like that, and then um, we have the vein down the middle. Don't forget to draw the veins over to the sides. And you can put in a couple little extras. And that's it. Some other things you can do. Um, you can come back in depending on what kind of pencil you have and you can darken up your lines put in a couple of those holes that are in the inside of that let's see there's one down here there we go and that's it all right what do you got I don't <laughs> what were you drawing? You drawing another leaf? I draw a leaf. <laughs> There's Betsy's leaf. She's sketching away. <laughs> All right. So, when it comes to drawing buildings, structures, um, one of the things is I like to look at is how you're looking at it for this little um, for this little pagoda I'm just gonna leave it sitting right there so my angle is like this looking down on it so that's how I'm gonna draw it and again we're sketching so I'm gonna start with the point at t on the top and then kinda get some of these roof parts out There we go. And it has these little ornaments at the ends of each roof, a roof line that goes this way. There we go. So as you sketch, don't be afraid to make multiple lines if you've messed up. Don't be afraid to erase. Um, erasing your sketch is perfectly fine. If it doesn't look exact, again, this is just a sketch, so if it doesn't look exact, it's okay. So when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of uh, somebody you, your parents might know if you're if you're younger. Your parents or some of you folks that are watching are a little bit older. Uh, a guy named Bob Ross, and he always used to refer to them as happy little mistakes. So. And sometimes he'd take his mistakes and turn them into things that, um, turn them into something else in his painting. What? <laughs> you got the Bob Ross sticker? That's from my uh, niece Haley. She's making stickers now. So there's Bob Ross. No mistakes, just happy accidents. Part of a sketch tune is to simplify some of the lines. They don't have to be perfect. See, I'm not putting in each little individual tile. I just did a squiggly line and said, ah, that's good enough. Now on this one in particular, to make the leap from a sketch to a better drawing, we'll add a little shading. So I'm gonna add a little shading here on these sides. go all right and so simple sketch little pagoda
Some other things you can do. Let's look at some of the details. So like again, sketching is just quick, rough marks. You can build up, um, build up the drawing as you go. There we go. So I've got this detail here. I've added some of this detail right here and then just some little circles right here. And again, it's not obviously if you look at this, this is a little bit bigger, but it's just a rough rough idea of what's going on here. And some squiggly lines back here to make it look like <laughs> there's something going on back here. So there you go. All right. Moving pretty quick here. Um, I'm going to take a break for just a second. I'm going to talk about, um, if you notice on your pencils, they have this mark here. Let me get where you can see it. This one says 8B. All your pencils have different marks. Here's a 6B, and that's probably easier to see. Um, that mark, the B stands for black. The number 6, the higher the number, is the softer that this pencil is. If you have a H pencil, H are hard, um, which are great for drawing like uh, technical drawings, um, Stuff like that. You can use an H pencil for um, sketching before you paint, or a walk for like in a watercolor or gouache. But um, I'm using B pencils. I like how soft they are and how well they flow when you draw with them. So, all right. Next, I have this plant. take a look at it it's all sorts of little parts and pieces some more plants coming out of the side here so let me sit that right there and all right so again sketching I'm just making the peaks of the of the plant And if you notice, they get smaller as they go towards the center. So you want to put a couple little ones in here. Like that. So I like to draw from stuff that's that I can see. Um, I also frequently um, will kind of, I guess you could say, ad lib, make up stuff. But uh, I like to use things that I know and see first as uh, a practice tool. So if you look around your house, I'm sure you can find all sorts of interesting things like mugs or some uh, strange home decor piece of pottery or something like that that you can use to draw with, that you can use for inspiration. Uh, we'll probably be going outside in one of the future one of these future classes so and we'll talk about what to look for outside so as you can see I'm not really I'm not really drawing the bomb I'm kind of roughing it in making um, some some lines to kind of as I go there's that And just because I did on the other one, we'll put a little shading in this one too. Just some lines, simple lines, and 
on the back side of my plants here too. These spiky leaves. Now I'm going to show you something very interesting. Um, I'm sitting down and my paper goes like this. The view I have from here is is of this plant. But when I turn my paper up because I'm drawing long ways going away from me, it is now much taller. So it's one of those things that our eyes, our view, our vantage point naturally does that. So um, if you have a small table easel or don't mind holding your sketchbook up or in your lap, but when I was looking at it laying flat, obviously it was shorter. Now it's taller. So. Oh, Betsy's got some. Let's see what Betsy. Ooh, she's got color too. You found the colored pencils, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's do another one. Let's look at this. Just like that. All right. So I'm going to look straight down. There's another view of it. And there's other ones coming out of the bottom that are like these new little plants. plant this is does not say it says it's from Maryville Tennessee but I don't think they have these kind of plants in Maryville I think this is from somewhere else all right so there's looking down Well, like I said, feel free to go outside and get some more material or even go outside. Looks like it's going to be a cloudy but rain-free day today. So, let me... There we go. Get turned around here. So, that's all I have for you today. Um... <clears throat> Somebody asked if I add the little caterpillars. No, they're right there. Whatever those are, those are the babies, I guess. Um, so uh, tomorrow we're going to do same time, um, 11.30 uh, a.m. before lunch. So that way um, after you get finished, you can go fix yourself a sandwich or salad or some fruit or something like that. Um, but um, tomorrow we're going to do uh, wire drawing which um, it's exactly what it sounds like we're going to be drawing wire. But there's some fun things that we can do with that. Um, it's a great, um, it's a great uh, activity to build your skills. So, again, tomorrow, 1130. Um, I'll be doing these for a while, uh, it seems like. So I just ask everybody to stay safe out there. Um, if you have any requests for something you'd like for me to, to draw or something you'd like to see, put that in the comments um, below the video. Also, uh, I encourage you if, you, if you drew something, go ahead and post a picture of it uh, also in the comments so, uh, so we can share. Um, 
But other than that, stay safe, have fun. We'll see you tomorrow morning.